Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph of a some sort of waterfall. Looks like it's man-made and a young young boy. <clears throat> and it's really a pretty good picture. Uh, they've tried to remove the background, as you can see, and put on a or somehow it got onto a back black background. But it's it's not that big. But we're going to make it smaller to make it easier for Corel to do it. So we're a little bit more than an inch. We're going to set our nudge factor on two. And we're going to take a duplicate. And I've done a couple of videos on this, but not really put a picture in a picture, I don't think. Then we're going to take this picture and trace it. I'm not going to change it to a bitmap. I'm just going to outline trace clip art. And because it's got a black background, it worked pretty good. I'm going to say, okay. And I'm going to nudge it over. And as you can see, it traced pretty good. The globs don't really matter. And we're going to take it now, go to object uh, group and ungroup it. And then we're going to try to start getting rid of this shadow. And just these little bitty pieces. Uh, trying not to take up too much of the young man's legs. And we can get up here and get this shadow. And whoop. See, that's a, we can fix that later. Let's try that. Nope. I would leave it kind of like that. It's pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a rectangle and we're going to fill in the rectangle with the smart fill tool. And we're going to move that over. There is our child. We can change the smart fill to a different color and fill in our child now and move it over to the original picture and we have a copy of it, select it all and go to intersect. That intersected the young man out. He still got some, a little bit of blurriness around the edges. And this is something I just started doing a while back. We are going to just put him back and we're going to take this blue man and we're going to left click, right click, we're going to go to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the inside 0 0.01 with rounded corners. And that made just a little bitty of contour, maybe too much, but we can always get stuff back. We don't have to break it apart. We're going to take the smart fill tool and fill it in. Now we're going to nudge it back and I'm just using the arrow keys. And you can kind of see the stuff we're going to delete. So now I'm going to take everything and I'm going to go to the intersect tool and now look at his head. Some of that garbage is gone. Now the picture is still there. Surprisingly, take the shape tool and get rid of these nodes. The picture, you know, if we move this ear out, the picture is still there. Um, kind of hard to believe it is, but it is. And then just depending on how much work and how, how little the picture is going to be, you know, we need to do some work on his foot right here. Uh, I would suggest taking the shape tool and maybe moving these nodes out, trying to get his little heel. And then you can get the shape tool and move these back in. And I would suggest deleting some of the nodes and then use your handles to, uh, You know, just kind of make it look like a heel. I'm not going to take an extra lot of time. Now there's the parts up here in his finger. And in this particular case, wouldn't really matter because he's going to be sitting in water. But we did cut off some of his little fingers. And we could play with that, you know, until your heart's content. Get rid of these nodes. And just kind of play with it. Now, right in here, I would move this note over to kind of like the middle and go up between his fingers. And in this particular case, like I said, he's going to be sitting in this water. So I don't think you're going to be able to see this anyway. But you can always add nodes and get a little bit closer. Same thing in this web part of his finger here. And like I said, I'm not going to take a lot of time. But you do need to make his toes look better. And we might even use the smoothing tool on this, which is 
uh, was created in X7. And then go over the whole thing with the smoothing tool. You know, maybe get some of these little bitty knots out of his head. And just make it a little bit smoother. Now, you could spend a little bit of time that I've done on this, or you could spend hours, uh, just depending on how long is this going to, how big is the picture going to be? You know, if it's going to be on a, a, a coaster, you know, you're not going to be able to see some of these imperfections anyway. I think his leg had some imperfection, but it'll be setting in water. I'm just using the smoothing tool and kind of rounding that off. Then take that little man out of the picture and do put the one we just put in there and you can move it all around. Now, if it doesn't show up, you've got it in the wrong order. If it looks like that, just go to object order front of page. And you could, you could really play around with this picture and, and, uh, make him actually like he's in the water somehow by putting a line down there, but I'm not going to go there. And she admitted this isn't the placement. She just picked a, picked, a, picked a picture off the internet. But that's pretty cool. It looks like he's really there. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.